Good day. We are going to talk about how to access the American Public Gardens Association's Public Gardens Benchmarking Platform. Uh, it's a simple to use but seriously powerful way to get data. And um, we hope that you'll enjoy it once you're able to get in. So getting in is extremely simple. All you need to do is go to our homepage at publicgardens.org, um, roll over to our resources and tools area, click on benchmarking, and then there you will see um, all the ability to either compile data on your own, enter your garden's data, and or get results. Um, there's some lovely testimonials. You'll see the three different uh, benchmarking platforms that uh, make up our um, garden's benchmarking. And um, you can also see a little bit more of an introduction how to use, as well as a promotional video for all the things that uh, garden leaders think about the site itself. To get in, it's very simple. Um, we'll use the Enter Data tab today. Click on the Enter Data tab. If you are not logged into our website, you'll be prompted to sign in. So here I'll use my uh, own login. Click and you should be automatically redirected to the dashboard to the site itself. Once you've been granted access to the site itself, you'll see a splash screen. This is not just any typical splash screen. I know that you're always tempted to click past it, but this screen has quite a bit of interactive information. I'm gonna um, zoom in so that you can see some of the different things it says. Um, it shows how to access results. It has hot links to um, track your progress to the benchmarking study questions themselves. Should you wanna download it and distribute it to other people? Very easy data entry guide and comparing and reporting guide and many, many other features. So before you just click continue, make sure that you see all the things. In order to make sure that you're able to um, access all areas of the platform that you should be able to, we recommend that you email us at info at publicgardens.org should you have any questions regarding the benchmarking platform. After you click continue, Depends on your point of view. Here I'll use the hypothetical example of Thomas Jefferson of Jefferson Botanical Garden. Um, the upper right hand corner of the screen gives you the welcome message that you saw previously, information about your account, support, um, which contains many of the same links that we discussed in your ability to log in or log out of the platform. Um, you'll be presented in this example with one of either two platform choices, garden benchmarking, which anyone who is a member of an institution, basically any um, American Public Gardens Association member has the ability to view and possibly enter data for gardens benchmarking that's specific to their garden. Only certain individuals are granted access to the compensation and benefits platform. If you do not have that access, it will not be showing on your right-hand side, you'll need explicit written permission from your executive director, president, CEO, or chief officer of your garden in order to gain access to compensation and benefits benchmarking. Uh, we'll click in on garden benchmarking. Um, you'll see that there's three different tabs in garden benchmarking. Our garden, which is where you enter data, compare gardens, and reports and charts. You can see that in Jefferson's example, uh, Jefferson Botanical Garden has answered some of the different questions for the year in question. Switching back and forth between different years is easy. The, the area that is open for data entry now includes the most two most recently closed years, fiscal years of gardens that are available. Um, we believe that most gardens have probably closed 2017, and so this data um, would come through there. Um, for some, they'd be entering some of their 16 data in 16 or possibly in 15, depending on how long they've participated. Um, we'll show you now how to enter data. It's relatively easy in, um, and it's broken out into six different areas, garden details, financial information, garden space and plant holdings, visitor information, such as how many visitors per year or how many members and donors, and also staffing. Where there is still data to be entered, you'll see that um, that's an in-process wheel where data has already been entered is a green check mark. And if there's a concern, such as one particular question that doesn't have a valid response in the category, 
It will show with a hazard symbol. We'll also show how much percentage is complete for the garden within those three years of participation in the platform. Should your garden have only participated in one year, it is easy to go back and catch up with prior year's data should you wish to do trend reporting. Again, entering data is quite easy. If we go into, say, building space, we have the different features. If we don't have any exhibit space or administration space, all of our space allocations are within square feet. So let's say we have a 5,000 square foot administrative space, which would be for a rather large garden. We can put that in there. Let's say we don't have any exhibit space. We check the non applicable box. Let's say that we have um, an ample amount of maintenance space. Science space and most of us have no storage space. That's a joke. You can easily click to save those data. It will default to blanked out, not applicable responses and zero data. And you can either cancel your values if you're not editing, or you can move to save and next. Another capability of the platform allows you to copy your prior year data. If you do have prior year data in the system, so if this is your first year, you'll be able to utilize this feature going on. Perhaps you've updated some of your space and other things that will give you information as to which ones you've, cop you've copied current year data will always overwrite prior year data. And so you can see where we added or subtracted from where we were previously. Again, we would need to save those new values. Those values would automatically update. And again, we can move on to the next. So you can see how extremely easy it is to enter data into the system. 